So let's talk real briefly about Homecoming. That's coming up in January. Um, yeah. Should be fun. There is some some discussions that I'm hearing in, in the uh, in the uh, in between, if you will. Guys that they that that Impact wants to bring in, guys that they might bring in, and guys that are basically not coming in. I know somebody somebody threw out the idea of Jeff Jarrett just locally to me, and I'm like, I don't know if that would happen. <laughs> Although, how great would that be if Eli Drake's doing like an open challenge, and then Jeff Jarrett comes out to second uh, Eli Drake? Oh, that would be oh, that would be so, like that's that's art imitating life right there. Uh, but uh, Impact does some stuff. Not to cut you off real fast. I'm sorry. Uh, Impact does some stuff where they generally hype either guys returning or hype guys who are in the news through their social medias. And they've been hyping yeah. Christopher Daniels lately. And Chris Saban has been working with BCW lately. BCW is Scott D. Moore's uh, promotion out of Ontario. So the question really does come down to. Do you think a guy like Daniels or Saban could pop up at homecoming, even if it's only for one night, considering the fact that they have been working with um, Ring of Honor as of late to to try to smooth some bridges? I think anything is possible to use it. I think the whole point of this regime has been to kind of, you know, rebuild some of those bridges. And, you know, we, we've seen certain instances. That, I mean, just look at that photo you tweeted. Uh, lethal Impact in Omega. Mm-hmm. What's I mean, just that photo alone proves that you know what, how far we've come and just what the year has been for wrestling. And you know, just looking at those guys, those three who, you know, not that many years ago that people would have never pegged these guys for world champions mm-hmm. at all. And then I look at them now. So, you know, I think it just speaks. To that. I definitely think somebody like Daniels could come in, or, or somebody like a um, or Saban and whatnot. You know, it kind of just mix things things up. Even if it's for one night, it'll be cool if we got like a a, a quick bad influence uh, rewind. I wouldn't hate on that at all. You know, um, I think they dropped the ball with them when they was there, and of course they they took their ball and they went elsewhere. But um, that that would be really cool to see if not only just for one night to have them come in and kind of try to check LAX and and, and you know have a one off uh, show still. I was just about to say because Dan- uh, not Daniels Kazarian and. Sky are the tag team champions, if I remember correctly. They might be doing the free bird rule. Uh, not the six-man, but, but the world tag team champions. Uh, plus the idea, because uh, uh, they've already confirmed that Jay Lethal versus Johnny Impact title for title is happening. Just where is it going to happen? Well, why not at homecoming? Jay Lethal is, is, is you know, he's a former X-Division champion, former multi-time X-Division champion, former tag team champion, if, if I remember correctly. Uh, his Black Machismo gimmick is, is still regarded um, as one of the best, most creative things that has happened under the Russo era. So why not do Jay Lethal versus Johnny Impact at Homecoming? I think it makes sense personally. Yeah, I dig it. I mean, you know, just to see him back in Impact after all these years, after everything that's happened, obviously, you know, another guy that had a lot of potential to, to get to the top, but realized it in Ring of Honor with the opportunity to see that, you know, that he earned there. So uh, I, I just think that would be great. You know, you're talking about, you know, the past versus, you know, um, the, the very much present with, you know, impact. And like I said, that would be really, speaking of homecoming, that'd be a homecoming for Jay. I mean, that's where mm-hmm. we got started with this guy. So, you know. I still laugh every time I think of Jay Lethal and impact because I go back to that hard justice show at, out of uh, New Jersey and they showed mm-hmm. Jay Lethal's family, and right there is AJ Lee. <laughs> 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 I always chuckle when I see that. So I'm looking forward to Homecoming. It's going to be an awesome show. Apparently they're ter- tearing down the old asylum. Uh, so this is going to be one of the last wrestling events at the venue. Oh, man, that's that's great. Is this the same? This Is this the asylum with, uh, where they, they used to have like the tunnel and all that? Uh, the, the tunnel stuff that, that, you know, where they were kind of walking on an incline upwards or walking on a, yeah, yeah. incline. That was actually the impact zone way back in the day. This was where they would hold the weekly pay-per-views. And it would look like, you know, if you're looking at the hard camera, you would see like a row of seats across from the hard camera, like a little bit elevated, like, the, like there's a little riser. 
That's what this was. Uh, It's the Nashville Fairgrounds. uh, NWA just ran their 70th anniversary show at the venue. Uh, So there's been some some usage of the event. Ring of Honor's filmed there for their weekly television show uh, over the last few years. So it's it's an iconic arena for Impact fans and for wrestling fans, especially fans of Tennessee-based pro wrestling. Like this, this venue has been home to many uh, impromptu matches and, and iconic names. So it'll be sad nice. to see it go. But we at least nice. at least Impact has one more event there, and then they're going to replace it with a multi multi-use uh, soccer facility. So I'm sure there'll still be wrestling shows there. It just won't be. Well, it's shame. I'm glad again back to go back there one last time, and you know, um, looking forward to homecoming. Uh, and of course, this week we are heading in the final hour. Yes, which, uh, I love how they branding these a lot of these shows after the actual superstars. Like they had Night of the Dummies with Drake, and they got the final hour with the Killer Cross's emblem and the and the uh, logo for the uh, the title of the show. So digging it, I'm digging it. It's, it's looking promising to be a, a hell of a, another hell of a episode 